Hello children, today we are going to study construction. But before starting the class, I would like to request you to like and share my video. Also, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. So let's start construction. Children, today we will construct some of the angles and its perpendicular bisectors. Let's construct 60 degree angle. So for 60 degree angle, I have drawn a ray. Okay. Now taking center A and a convenient radius, I'm going to draw an arc which cuts AX at M. Again, I'm taking center M and the same radius, I'm going to cut the previous arc at M. Now I am drawing a ray from A passing through N and this represents 60 degree angle that is N A M represents 60 degree angle. Now let's draw 30 degree angle with the help of compass. So taking center A first of all I have drawn an arc which cuts AX again at M. Taking same radius and center M, another arc I have drawn to cut the previous arc at M. Now children, just now I have uh, taught you to construct 60 degrees. So if we pass a line from here, then it will become 60 degrees. Okay. Now the bisector of this 60 degree will be 30 degree. Again, taking center M, I have drawn an arc here and with the same radius, I have taken center as N and drawn another arc which curves the previous arc, suppose at O. Now, I am drawing a ray from A passing through O which will give us angle 30 degree. So, angle O, A, X is 30 degree. Children, now let's construct 15 degree. And 15 degree is the bisector of angle 30 degree. So, first of all we have constructed 30 degree and now we'll construct the bisector of angle uh, 30 degree which will give us 15 degree. For this I have taken center M and drawn an arc in this manner and again with the same radius I have taken another center P and cut this arc at a point. With the point A and R I have drawn a ray. With ray from A which passes through R and this represents angle 15 degree. So angle R A X is 15 degree. Children, now let's construct 90 degree angle. And for this construction, first of all, I have drawn a ray O X. And now taking center O, I am going to draw an arc in this manner. This arc intersected OX at M. Now again, taking center M and with the same radius, I have drawn another arc which cuts the previous arc at M. Again, taking center M and with the same radius, I have Cut this arc at uh, P. Again, taking center M and a convenient radius, any radius. Suppose I have taken a big radius, no problem. I have drawn an arc in the upward direction. And again, with the same radius and taking center P, I have cut the previous arc at A. Now, I am drawing a line from O to 
A. That is a ray passing through A. And this forms 90 degree angle. That is angle A O X is equal to 90 degree. Let's construct an angle of 45 degree. 45 degree is what? 45 degree is the bisector of angle 90 degree. So first of all, we have to construct an angle 90 degree. Now, 90 degree we have already constructed and I will take the center M and Q and construct two arcs. Taking center M, I have drawn an arc here and again taking center Q and with the same radius like previous one, I have drawn another arc which cut the previous arc at this point. I have joined OB. That means I have drawn a ray from O passing through B and this resulted angle 45 degree. So this is our angle 45 degree. Okay. So angle B O X is equal to 45 degree. Children, let's construct angle 22 and a half degree. 22 and a half degree is the bisector of angle 45 degree and 45 degree is what is the half of angle 90 degree so for 22 and a half degree we will be needing 90 degree 45 degree now already we have constructed 90 degree and bisector of 90 degree that is 45 degree now taking center is m and r we will construct angle 22 and a half degree taking center m i have drawn an arc here and again taking center r I have drawn another arc which cuts the previous arc suppose at C. We have drawn a ray from O passing through C and this results as the angle uh, 22 and a half degree. So we can write as angle C O X is equal to 22 and a half degree. Children, Let's draw 120 degree. Now, how to draw 120 degree? For this, first of all, I have drawn a ray. Let it be O, X. And from O, I will draw an arc in this manner, taking center O and a convenient radius. One arc I will draw in this way. And I will mark it as M. Taking center M, another arc I will draw to cut the previous arc at M. And in the same way, taking center M, I will cut another arc to cut this previous arc at P. Now, children, we will join OP. I have drawn a ray from O passing through P. And this has given us angle 120 degree. So angle P O X is equal 120 degree. So children, with this, I am ending today's session. In another session, I will bring to you some more educational videos. Also, don't forget to watch my videos on construction. Link is given in the description. Thank you for watching today's